Okay, uh, this is the Viltrox 20mm f2.8 Z mount. We've all seen this lens. Uh, we all know what it is. It's been kind of all over the place. These are budget friendly wide angle lenses. And um, as of late, I have really been focusing on budget friendly kits that really do what I need. Um, I've had all the high end gear. Uh, I mean, I say that kind of, it sounds pompous, but I've had a lot of, you know, good rock solid gear. And I've had the gas, I've chased after things spent money I didn't have, you know, piled up a large, bunch of funds on the credit card for things I really didn't need, and they all did the same job. Um, I'm a professional hobbyist Instagram photographer that does the occasional paid gig. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I have a lot of fun doing this. Photography for me is just a therapeutic thing, and... I had to really kind of come to terms with the fact that I don't need the fanciest things and the Z8s and the Z9s and the Z63s and the Z7s. And I realized I actually really like the Z30. Um, in the hand, this camera is awesome. Uh, I was able to buy it used for a great price. I was able to buy a 50 mil 1.8 prime. Like this is one of Nikon's best 50 millimeter primes. I got that used as a, at a great price. I got this lens was uh, purchased for me uh, in payment for a photo shoot that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I think these are $218 uh, new on Amazon. Came with the box and all the kit and everything and all the fun stuff that, you know, nobody really wants to see anymore. Um, but yeah, so it looks like a pretty good lens. There's some cool features to it. I don't like this rear cap and uh, what a pain in the butt that cap is to pull off. You have to put it on very specifically and it's, it's tight. I guess if you line it up just right, it's okay. So I'll just kind of stop goofing around with it. But I'm excited to try this. Uh, I'm hoping to use this for some astrophotography, um, star trails. I'm hoping to use it for some landscapes, uh, some scenic portraiture. Uh, I'm hoping to kind of just use this, have fun with it, have something that's a little bit more wide uh, than my 50, uh, my 50 mil here. Uh, this lens on here is like a 75 millimeter lens, so it's portrait landscape. It does everything I really need it to do, but I wanted something wide to also play with. So here we are, I thought this was a cool option. And you know, I didn't have to spend any money on it. I get to take uh, some cool portrait photos of a good friend of mine, uh, Tim Lowing. He runs um, Poplar Magazine, um, Lowing Media, a couple of other things. Um, I can post some links. Uh, he's a cool cat. He does some great work with some local magazines that he publishes. I'm published in a few of those as well, but we've got some uh, great characters uh, in those magazines, so you should definitely check that out. But anyway, lens. Yeah, so budget friendly, budget friendly, 20 millimeter, f2.8, full frame on a crop sensor, so this becomes a 30 millimeter, but I like using full frame lenses on crop sensor cameras. It gives me the best sharpness in the center of the frame, and if I do happen to upgrade to uh, full frame, upgrade is very loosely, loosely used. So, But if I do get a full frame camera again, I've got full frame lenses, uh, I, which I think is great. So, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. See how it goes kind of thing. Um, I don't know if you want to see it on the camera. I'll take a video right now. So, oh, oh fuzzies. So, ooh. Off. I hate taking the sensor off. I don't want to expose this lens. That one. Oh, come on. One hander. Woohoo! Skills I learned in the mountains. Okay. So. I kind of like that without the lens hood. It's a good size. Now that fits really good on that body. 
It's pretty cool. Let's put that dorky little. This one, putting it on the putting the tulip hood on here, uh, reversed is gong show a bit, but cheese bottle. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's yeah, pretty close focusing. Good Boca. Boca. Or Tonys. Good Tonys. Oh, the Northrops. I like the Northrops actually. They, they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, they sell Squarespace a little bit too much, but who the hell doesn't anymore? It's got its YouTube. They make you sell your firstborn child. Oh, dark. Anyway, check out Camera Conspiracies. That's a cool channel. He does a bunch of health talk and stuff too, and it's his personal health journey stuff. Uh, vegetarian, uh, a bunch of stuff for his skin. Then he talks about, uh, his channel was primarily about vlogging, but it seems to be he's just uh, really enjoying wildlife photography. And uh, he's just a funny guy. He's got dark humor. It took me a while to get used to him. I used to be offended by every damn thing he said, but then when I got over myself and realized that he's just having a good time and he's being honest and making light of things, it's really cool to listen to him talk. I, I really like him. I mean, I've got friends who aren't even photographers that love watching his show. So, there you go. Plus, you know, there's five photographers that get together that are asking for help. He'd definitely help out. So, yeah, this thing's great. I love this little lens. Hopefully, get some real shots here soon. But here you go. Full. Ta da. Level. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm stoked. Of course, I love this lens way more. So that is just my favorite lens of all time. Actually, really great lens. Way, 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 way underrated. And now you're, they're coming down in price uh, quite a bit. So on the used market, I've seen these go as low as, I don't really want to tell you because if I ever resell this, I kind of shoot myself in the foot, but I got that for 400 bucks. Everyone tries to get 700, 800, 500, you know what? 400 bucks for a 50. Yep, good weight to it as well. Anyway, this video's rambling on. Ta-da. The Z-Mount 20mm f2.8 Viltrox. Click, click, click.